Hi, I'm Andrew with Baker's Gas. We're here today with a new um, Active 8X wire feeder by Lincoln. So this thing matches directly with the 330 MPX that we have here. Uh, we're gonna open up, we got it brand new in the box here. We're gonna open it up, see what comes along with that Active 8X wire feeder. Um, and you might notice in front of the machine too, I have the new uh, Lincoln spool gun, which is a 250 LX GT, um, designed specifically for the 330 MPX. Uh, no control module, links directly in, can pulse aluminum with it. We're also going to look into that too. So let's open up the wire feeder here. It's a brand new, never seen one of these either. Packaged up pretty nice. So, as you can see there, it's got it's actually pretty light. Um, it's actually a very light feeder. It's pretty easy. Nice. Um, the front, same kind of toggle, but toggles are protected there. Let's open it up here. All right, pretty cool. You got your voltage sensing lead here. Drive roll system. Wire, wire holder, spool holder. Gas connection. You can power cable. I notice there is no remote cable with this unit, so. This uses the Crosslink technology. It talks to this, the, or the engine drive talks to the wire feeder via the actual welding cable. Um, sends a frequency along the welding cable to control your voltage, that sort of thing. So when you're welding in the field, you set this to 25 volts. You have 200 feet of lead out. This thing recognizes the voltage drop, pops the power up a little bit more at the engine drive to get you 25 volts to your wire feeder. Pretty unique system. Um, it's it's pretty cool. We're gonna give it. We're gonna get it hooked up here and uh, try it out. All right. So just gonna run you through the setup on this Active 8X feeder. So we got our positive lead in the positive terminal. Because remember we're MIG welding, so DC electrode positive. And then we put our ground in the negative terminal. Now we're hooked up that way. We got our ground clamp from the engine drive. Then we have our power lead from the engine drive. Hook it into the back of the 8X. Make sure that's tight. All right, so we have the MIG gun, as you can see, set up, trigger wire. Uh, this thing comes with different back ends, so you can put your favorite MIG gun on the unit. Uh, right now we have a 300 amp Magnum Pro mid gun uh, that we have to run today so what you might be asking is what is this little ground clamp for so this is the voltage sensing ground clamp for this machine to even come on you have to have it hooked to a workpiece to your workpiece so it makes the complete connect connection with the crosslink technology and this you'll see it when I fire the engine drive up I'll disconnect this piece but when I fire it up I'll connect it and you'll see this thing come on so it makes the full connection because it is a voltage sensing wire feeder let me uh, let me pop that off I'll fire up the engine drive Change 
So along with that cross-link technology, some more unique features to this. You see the new um, button guard here, so you can steal. You can't really easily break those buttons off to change your voltage and wire feed speed. Another uh, nice feature on this is you can see the ribs on the back side and on the bottom. So uh, out in the field, they get drug, and uh, if they get on their side, they get drug on their side or on their bottom across steel. Those are there to protect it. On the back side, you can see there's a lifting eye for a crane lifting eye. So anything, if you're lowering into a confined space or you're lifting it up to do an iron work, you know, 20, 30 feet up, you can hook on there. They say not to hook onto the handle, just hook onto the lifting eye in the back. So we'll flip this unit over and open it up inside. So on this side, they got all your part numbers for your drive rolls, all the way up to 052, drive roll kits for cord wire. Uh, that's going to be your neural drive roll sets and uh, outer guide part numbers, drive roll kits include, they just go through all the parameter settings, all your part numbers. Same typical Lincoln drive roll system, you got your wire tensioner, your new uh, drive roll lock locking system, there, your wire guide, your MIG gun lock in there, and then your, you can fit an 11 pound or eight inch spool inside this unit. So what makes this unit nice is 27 pounds without wire, you add an 11 pound spool, we're talking 38 pounds total. So if you have a weight restriction, say they have weight restrictions, you can only lift up to 50 pounds. This is only 38 pounds. It's uh, really light, really small, um, and designed to get into some tight spaces, that sort of thing. Pretty awesome little unit. So another unique feature with this thing um, it is along with Crosslink technology, it has true voltage technology. So TVT, they call it. It is a, say you run 200 feet of lead, you got a voltage drop. The engine drive and the suitcase, they talk to one another. You want 25 volts at the suitcase. The engine drive senses the voltage drop with the 200 feet of welding lead, and it bumps your voltage up automatically. So say they'll, they'll go from, you want 25 volts here, it bumps this engine drive up to 28 volts because it recognizes the drop along the length. Pretty cool all uh, very adaptive technology so they're talking to one another making your life easier for welding and uh, it's a pretty awesome setup thanks for watching my video on the new activate x wire feeder by lincoln uh just in case you missed this is actually part two to the ranger 330 mpx video this is actually an accessory that we got along with our ranger our new ranger so this feeder goes along with the ranger 330 mpx uh, thanks for watching my video. Stay tuned for more videos. We got more coming out. I got more accessories for my Ranger 330 MPX. And stay tuned. Thanks for watching.